Uh, we'll speak to you a little Thank bit. Thank you very much. Uh, here's Laura with the weather. <laughs> Good morning to you. Well, one thing we've not lost is the sunshine. It may well feel like it at the moment, but as we head through to the bank holiday weekend, hot, dry, sunny weather prevails, but as the humidity builds, so does the risk of thunderstorms. Here's the details. Love your home, whatever the weather. With Good Morning Britain National Weather. Sponsored by CheckerTrade.com. CheckerTrade, CheckerTrade.com. Good morning. So I've been digging through the archives to just look at some of the stats around this bank holiday. Now, temperatures are climbing, but we'll be just a little shy of the warmest we've ever seen. 32.8 degrees back in 1944. We could well rival for the sunniest as there'll be plenty of blue skies, particularly through Scotland. It will not be the coldest or the windiest. And thankfully, there was a dusting of snow in 1977. There will be none of that around either. Instead, it is heat and humidity that is building. Now, we've seen it over the last few days, climbing temperatures through southern areas of Europe. And it's this southerly flow, this change in wind direction that will bring up this warm air, but also the increased humidity. So for the weekend, while there will still be some rain around, there'll be plenty of hot sunshine but again, like I said, the humidity rising, you'll feel it in the air, the risk of some torrential thunderstorms. Now, this is the scene first thing this morning. Much like yesterday across England and Wales, it is cloudy, there's rain. That rain is pretty heavy. And as we head through the day, that will continue to journey its way westwards. But high pressure is close to the north. And all you need to know is high pressure brings settled sunny weather. So for much of the weekend, Scotland and Northern Ireland having beautiful, dry, sunny conditions. Still, though, an easterly wind. And here, that'll bring low cloud along these eastern coasts. But as we head through the day, more sunshine in the southeast, and that means climbing temperatures. Now, by tomorrow, we again will have had the cloud and the rain, but the winds are sort of southeasterly, and that will shift the rain away, pulling it away from the southwest of England. So tomorrow, a humid, muggy start. Wales in the southwest will see, again, some heavy thunderstorms. But elsewhere, more and more sunshine, a better day tomorrow with blue skies. And then the outlook for Sunday is, again, hotter, dry, sunny weather. England and Wales, again, hit and miss thunderstorms. It's worth staying tuned to the forecast. But at the moment, on into Bank Holiday Monday. And in fact, for the start of the holidays, it is looking fine. For the weather where you are in detail, go to itv.com forward slash weather. Good morning, Britain. North Korea hits back at Donald Trump as the president cancels their historic meeting because of anger on hostility. Pyongyang says it's not to blame for the collapse. Harvey Weinstein to finally face justice. The disgraced Hollywood producer is expected to surrender to police today and be charged for the first time. <coughs> Thousands of Liverpool fans battle against Real Madrid in Kiev, but five cancellations could throw their plans into chaos. And in a shock twist, Alfie Moon returned to EastEnders last night. Is he back? Because he's having a baby with Hayley Slater. Shane Ritchie will reveal all when he joins us a little bit later, even how he kept a secret from his own mum. Friday, 25th of May, 2018. Live from ITV Studios in London. This is Good Morning Britain with Ben Shepherd and Kate Garrow. So our main news this morning, unexpected and very regrettable. That's North Korea's reaction overnight to the U.S.'s decision to cancel the planned summit between the two countries. President Trump had earlier accused Kim Jong-un of approaching the talks with tremendous anger and open hostility. The North Korean state's news agency, however, stressed that their leader had made every effort to ensure the meeting went ahead. In a statement, it said... It was still willing to resolve any issues with the United States whenever and however our correspondent William Denslow is in New York for us this morning. Good morning, William. So it seems despite the, the heavy rhetoric from America, the North Koreans aren't totally averse to trying to keep this door slightly open. <laughs> 